video we'll be covering the basics for creating drill throughs on reports. Drill throughs allow you to create a sub report under the main report that provides further details and analysis. In this case I've created a drill through on the vendor table that shows the orders by date behind the road that I just selected. And I can also do drill throughs that link into other applications. In this case, I've got a drill through that launches to a Google search based on the vendor name. These drill throughs can also be done over the web. I've published this query to the web and you can see that with the same report the drill throughs appear and if I select one of them I can see the analysis for that particular vendor and drill throughs can be done to any number of levels. So let's start a report from scratch and slowly build up the drill throughs that you've just seen. I've created a new worksheet and I'll select the toolbar table formula and from the AdventureWorks product I'll select purchase order header. From here I'd like to drag out the vendor account number, their name and the total due to get the base of the report. These descriptions I can then customize by double clicking on the outputs and just adjusting the, the, the captions. Let's preview that and see what the data looks like. You can see now that I've got the basis of a report and I'd like to now start creating some drill throughs on these rows. To start the drill through process, right click on the filter area and select drill through. When you do this, a prompt will appear asking if you'd like to name the outputs. This is important because the outputs drive the filter criteria of the subquery and you reference the output items by their names. So we'll say yes to this. Now we're in the drill through menu, we're going to click on new. We'll give it a name, uh, drill by order date, and we'll click on edit query. Initially the query starts off with the parent query, and you can then add, add additional details. For example, we wanted to show the order date, and maybe some of the other items like tax amount or freight doesn't necessarily have to be the same table, it could be something totally different. Now here's the important part, we need to tie the subquery into the parent query. And if you remember, the parent query was showing the account numbers of the vendors. So I've just dragged account number up into the filter area, and if I click on the drop down list, you can see the percent account number. This is the output of the parent query. So I'm going to tie the filters of the subquery into the parent. If this is done correctly, the total due should balance with the total due in the parent query. I'm just going to hit finish on this and close. And go back to preview so we can actually see a drill through appear and you'll notice that this particular row is for 30,229. Uh, if we do a drill through it should balance to the same amount. This means that the criteria is correct in the filter area. I'll close this window now and select finish and you can see we've gone back into Excel and if I double click on a particular row now you should see the drill through item appear in the menu and we can select that and the details will come up. We can then 
further drill from there using the ad hoc tool functionality or in the edit editing of the query we could have added further drill throughs from here. Next I'd like to show you how to do a different type of drill through that links into external applications or uh, web-based services. Let's edit the query again and go back into drill through and this time when we click new we'll change the type to link. Link allows you to pass parameters to external applications or web-based services. In this case we just have a search query with Google and the criteria goes in after the Q equals. I'm just going to select the prompt and I'm going to put in the vendor name as a parameter and change the description to Google search on vendor and let's try that out. I'll preview and I'll go to American Bikes and select Google Search. You can see that the parameter has been resolved and passed in on the URL and we have a search. This could be passed into any application that accepts some sort of parameter. The key point to remember is always tie your drill throughs into the correct criteria from the parent so that they balance. That's a brief overview of creating drill throughs.